Hi there, welcome to Grain TV. It's Thursday, September 1st, a new month, a new result in the market. We actually had an update in grains. Let's take a look at Grain Edge's trading platform and see where we closed. In Chicago, corn gaining eight cents a bushel on Dece, while beans was up one and three quarters, and wheat in Chicago up six, while Kansas City wheat was up eight. Today felt like a recovery day after eight days of really just punishing lower prices. And you know, the news out today was somewhat supported, but somewhat more of the same. First of all, let's talk about uh, flash sales from USDA. We got another round of those. Yesterday we had corn, soybeans, and hard red winter wheat on the docket from USDA. Today it was corn and beans. Corn coming in uh, with 129,000 to Mexico. Unfortunately, some of that is booked all the way out in 2017, while uh, 147,000 in bean deals. So, you know, I think what the market saw today was, you know, long-term buyers like Mexico stepping in and saying at these prices, we're going to lock in. You know, they're looking for 2017 crop years to, uh, you know, forward price and, and get the advantage of some of these low prices. Other news out today, there was some interesting discussion down in Brazil by uh, FC Stone. They are saying that farmers there will likely not increase their soybean acres by a substantial margin, only expecting a nine-tenth of a percent increase in soybean acres uh, because of two factors. One is tight credit. A lot of you probably know that the uh, Brazil president was finally ousted, and that has you know the country there in a deep recession, and a lot of the political and economic turmoil they're going through there. So, you know, credit is a very constraining factor for farmers in that part of the world. Secondly, you have the potential for a La Nina, and the La Nina event in uh, Brazil would poten potentially lead to dryness in their growing season. So overall, uh, you know, FC Stone sees only a nine tenth of a percent increase in the acres planted to soybeans, but because they had a bad year last year, if you factor in normal yields, it would still be a bump up above 100 million metric tons. Keep in mind, 2015 production for them was uh, 95 million metric tons because of the dry spell. Uh, in corn, they do see a fairly big jump in corn acres, not surprising because they had such a bad crop in Brazil and prices there are uh, fairly lofty. So farmers there are expected to increase corn acres by 7% and FC Stone's projection uh, for corn production in Brazil goes to 85 million metric tons versus 68 million metric tons this season. Let's take a look at USDA's weekly export sales report that came out this morning. This was a mixed bag, nothing really overly bullish here to get excited about. Uh, first of all, old crop corn coming in above expectations. Most people were looking for a flat week with no uh, significant change in new crop bit or in old crop business because of the, we're at the tail end of the marketing year. But we did see 214,000 metric tons of old crop deals. On the other hand, new crop deals were a little light, coming in below expectations with only 647,000 metric tons. Both beans, uh, old and new crop, were in line with expectations, and wheat was a disappointing 279,000. Although on that list was a deal with Brazil for hard red winter wheat. This is the first time in three years Brazil has come to the U.S. for hard red winter wheat. So this could potentially be a, um, a good force going forward as the country there looks to shore up their wheat supplies. Uh, after the market closed today, we did have the uh, monthly USDA July crush number, and that number for July came in just slightly above expectations, coming in at six point, I'm sorry, 4.6 uh, million short tons versus 4.59 million short tons that was expected. So again, no real fundamental drivers here to change the direction. I think today was mostly corrective in nature after the big slide. If we take a look at the daily Dece corn chart out of the Grain Hedge trading platform, what you can see is you know, we have had a long uh, eight days here of just solidly lower prices and today felt like a short covering day in the market. Uh, we did see a nice pop up to 325 but backed off a little bit off of that high but still closing six uh, I'm sorry, eight higher in uh, in corn. So keep that 330 in mind. I think you know that might get us. You know, this short covering rally could get us up to 330. But I think overall, given the time of year, given ample old crop stocks being held by farmers and the potential for a big new crop harvest, 
I would say that any sort of rally here is going to be fairly short-lived uh, until we get past the harvest season. So that's all we've got for today on Grain TV. As always, if you'd like to learn how we can help you in your own grain marketing situation, visit us online at grainhedge.com. As a Grain Edge trading client, you'll get our technical alerts email first thing every trading day. Technical Alerts is a powerful system that generates quality trading opportunities. Each trading opportunity shows a chart and analysis providing clear price targets and risk potential. Technical Alerts look at historical chart formations and compare the current environment to the past to form concrete trading recommendations. The commodities covered by Technical Alerts includes grains, livestock, crude oil, currencies, bonds, and metals. Start your trading day with the most powerful insight into market direction and improve your trading today. Sign up at Grain Head to become a client.